So I'm just going to talk you through the various stages. So this container here is relatively at the beginning. All of this here is what the, is the refrigerated unit. So these are all reefers, what are called reefers, which are fully insulated containers. And we choose them because they are much easier to convert and you don't need to put any inside linings on them uh, compared to the crates, which I'll show you in a second, which you do. So these also have storage on the outside and the inside where all the refrigerated equipment used to go and that can all be reutilized so first of all we sell all the scrap metal off it's about eight hundred dollars worth of copper and steel and aluminium and then you're left with this space which is where we're going to put all of our utilities our gas califont our batteries our gas bottles uh, circulation and 12 volt pumps for the water now up here you'll see there are three panels and um, you can take them off and we get a specially made water tank which fits in behind there it's 300 litres capacity and so all of our piping for that comes out through the panel so we're not having to interfere with the actual integrity of the container the outside of a refrigerated container is basically flat, so easy to make look aesthetically pleasing compared to this, which is a crate. It uh, gets very hot in summer, very cold in winter. It takes a lot of time and expense to line out, and so I prefer not to use them. So you can see this container has got windows and bifolds already in it. Over here, these are the cutouts, so you can see the thickness of the insulation, closed cell foam, very good insulation and once it's cut out, we just put an edging on and then you have a ready-made deck. So you have a deck the size of the cutout, so for this window cutout, that's your base to be able to put your rocket fire or uh, heating source for the outside water heating um, and for the bifolds obviously the cutout is the same size so you've got a decent sized deck so that's basically it so you can see four containers in, on this site uh, you can imagine this being put anywhere completely off grid uh, there'll be solar power, water's collected off the roof. Um, very easy. And the cost we're estimating now is probably $50,000 for each one. So that's a two-bedroomed home. So if you do that as a rent-to-buy, it's probably three years. And if you did it for the same as what Ministry of Social Development pay now to keep someone in a motel, then that's one year to have your own two-bedroom off-grid home completely paid off.